Hey there. I'm going to show you how to use the multiple workflows feature in Kanbanize. First, let's start with a very simple board that has just three columns, requested in progress and done. But in order to do something real, let's add a few more columns. Let's add a second column. We can label it ready for review to signal that the work in this column is ready to be pulled to the next phase. And of course, the next phase is review itself. If we add one more, we can easily label it quality because that's what we care about, right? All right, if we go back to the board, we can see that we now have more stages in our workflow, which defines the process much better. But what happens if we need something very urgent to happen? Does it go through all the stages? Well, no, that's where multiple workflows kick in. Now we can add a new workflow. We can name it expedite and just leave it as is with the shortest possible workflow. And if we save the board and go back, we can see that now we have two completely different workflows. And if an expedite comes in, it's of course urgent and you know, it's of course red. So this car doesn't need to go through all the stages from the bottom workflow, it just goes to in progress and then goes to done. All right, we have this now cool board, but what else we can do with it? Well, we can simulate working on two separate projects. So let me go ahead and rename the, the lane we added to, to project one. And then I will add a new workflow and I will label it project two. And then this project one and project two they need to have different workflows because the second project requires customer review and approval before work can complete until the actual showcase column. So if we go back to the board, we see that we have now the fully implemented structure with an expedite and then project one, project two lanes, or more precisely workflows. But I want to show you how it works in reality. So let me go ahead and enable the initiatives workflow. An initiative in Kanbanize is the equivalent of a project. So let's go back to the board and actually create the projects themselves. I will name the project project one, and then I will create a second card, which I'm gonna label project two. Okay, and now break down project one and project two into actual tasks. So we have two tasks per project, task one for project one, and then task two for project two. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the second project, task one, and then task two. Now comes the cool part. When the team starts working on those tasks, we see that the projects, because of the automation in the initiatives workflow, because of this automation, the projects automatically go to in progress and automatically track how much completion we have. And of course, when all the work gets to done, the projects or the initiatives go to done automatically. And one more simple thing that we can add is working in one team but with two different specialties so we have the marketing people who take care of content and then we have the development people who take care of well the development so when a new project comes in let me go ahead and create the new project which is in this case just a landing page or a web page let me label it new landing page and of course, I'm gonna break it down into two. So one piece is the content. Yeah, let me collapse this expedite lane. Um, one piece is content for customer X, and then the rest is development for customer X. And when the team starts working on those, we see that the whole initiative goes in progress. And then the second piece goes in progress we see it with the orange color and when the cards get to done we're finished that's all we hope you enjoy the multiple workflows and come nice.